A man is charged after police found a homemade explosive device in his Plainfield Township apartment. 22 year old Jared Wilson was arrested earlier this month after he said he had been fired and was on his way to kill himself and the man who fired him. Investigators say he worked at a store on Plainfield Avenue Northeast. 13 on your side's John Hogan joins us now with more about this case and what happened today in court, John. Well, Wilson initially called a suicide hotline, but some of the statements he made got police involved. A search of his apartment turned up a homemade bomb. Contents included BBs, safety pins, and shotgun shells. There was also gunpowder prepped with a fuse. Police said it was a viable IED. Now, for that reason, the prosecution asked that Wilson be held on a high bond. This case involves not just a typical pipe bomb created by the defendant, but a pipe bomb that included things that we would reference as shrapnel. The, the things that he put inside of that show forethought, show the unlawful intent. I think the defendant's actions, while I agree with Mr. Dotson, are simply allegations at this point, do warrant a high bond, a $100,000 cash bond, in order to protect society at large. Right now, I'm not changing the bond. I'm going to leave everything the way it is. Now, Wilson, who has no priors, will be back in court next week to hear evidence against him. If convicted, he's facing up to 15 years in prison. John, 